Now, Jeff, let's talk about your incredible new EP. Oh. Jeff Goldblum plays well with others. It's a great talent. Good good talent. Plays well with others. How did you come up with this? How did you come up with this title? The title, uh, you know, I don't know. There's no big story about it. Just one day they were saying, you got to come up with a title. I had thought, I like titles, mm. and I'd been jotting down lists, and then I thought, it just came to me. Uh, just like uh, as if I were a mentalist of some kind. Yeah. <laughs> no, it just came to me. On your plays own, well. you thought, I play well with others. I did come up with it, I do yeah. believe. And I thought, plays well with others. Hey, hey, that's good. It means yeah. a couple of, you know, things. And, uh, yeah, I, I play well with others. That's right. It is very good. And you, um, you're going to keep playing with others. You're about to go on a world tour with your band. You're playing London, Paris, Berlin. What's your biggest rock star moment that you've had over the years? Well, well I'll tell you quickly. The... Um, I was, I happened to be, I had hosted Saturday Night Live and uh, Aerosmith was, was the guest. I'd kind of gotten a little palsy during the week with them. We'd gone out to dinner. And then shortly after, they were going to play a big concert outdoors. They invited me. I was on the side of the stage, kind of. And, uh, and Stephen Tyler said, hey, Jeff, you're going to play with us. He invited me there, Stop. the piano player. To, so I played for 60,000 people some, with them. They were doing one of those songs. It was great. And then I met Ringo Starr at one point, and we had a tete-a-tete, -tete, and that was thrilling. And then Keith uh, Richards yes. at the 40th anniversary of the SNL thing. We had a moment where we were saying, bah, gah, 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 gah. Yeah. so, you know, <laughs> I'm always, like, very starstruck with those types. You know? What about you? And have you ever stepped on stage? with any iconic rock stars? Um, I know you've got a lot of friends in yeah, the industry. Yeah, not so much, but uh, I did have a thing where, you mentioned Keith Richards, where I went to see the Rolling Stones in Argentina. Oh, wow. And I was kind of friendly with some of the band, and then my friend was really good friends with Mick Jagger, and we got these special um, laminates, kind of all access, that were good for the rest of your life that we got presented Stop. with. Stop. And so, no. yeah, wow. yeah. And so the first concert I had ever seen as a kid was the Stones. So uh, Tattoo You uh, tour, like 1980. So now getting this and uh, was just kind of, you know, so exciting. And then that night at the concert, I'm kind of wandering around and I'm testing it out, like, well, I'm going to walk over here and see if anybody stops me. And no one would stop me any place. And I ended up right at this place where I could look over and see Mick Jagger on the stage right there. And I'm kind of watching. And then all of a sudden, he bolts <gasps> during Jumping Jack Flash and comes running down. And it turns out where I was was kind of part of the stage, like, a little bit. So I just sort of froze and, you know, tried to be inconspicuous. And he kind of came down and then left. And then someone came running over, get out of here, move. You're not supposed to be here. And I was, you know, it, it, I, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. And, you know, that I go to bed that night still thinking about going, gosh, that was kind of a, you know, a kind of gnarly experience. And then I get a call the next morning. Um, asking uh, from Mick's security team, do you have that laminate? Yes, I still have it. Okay, we're going to come over and pick it up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. oh, my So I got it. Well, apparently I was also dressed in, like, a white T-shirt and white pants. And if you are at this part of the stage where you're not supposed to be, you should be in, like, dark colors where you yeah. blend in. So I get it. You know, he has a show to do. He doesn't need some, you know... Bozo kind of just cruising around, distracting but him. But they revoked so. your whole your they whole They revoked pass? the yeah. lifetime pass. Yeah, the lifetime yeah. pass. Millie I only Wake. had it Wake. for... Yeah. Well, let me tell you, you hours. both, both of you, will forever have a lifetime pass to this here Late Late Show because this is an emotional time for us. This is the last time you will ever be here on the show. and We have had some really, really great moments. Let's take a look. And some of our favorite moments with Owen and Jeff over the years. Know you were Take a look. Do this. Oh my gosh. The beautiful, the talented, the brilliant Mr. Owen Wilson is here tonight. Jeff Goldblum! I'm your substitute teacher, Jeff Goldblum. Class is in session. This is the Late Late Show. Roll the titles. Gordon and Bold, two titans of fitness going head to head. Owen, Owen Wilson is here too. <laughs> We send him back to the Brits. Why'd we trade Meghan Markle for something like this? Thank you, Jeff, you, Jeff, thank you. Initiate nuzzling. Thank you, Jeff. You can bet that he has tons of sex. Thank you, Jeff. We love you 
so thank much. You. Thank, thank you for James. everything thank you've so done much. here thank at the you. show. Thank, thank you. you. No, you thank have you. just been, uh, you've been so great. Every time you've come here, everybody here, you are two absolute gentlemen to everyone that works here. And I will thank you very, very much for always coming to the show. You've always gone the extra mile for us and it means a great, great deal to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back, everybody.